So we're gonna to go to the React Router website. So you're just gonna to go to reacttraining.com slash React Router. And here we're gonna look at some of the examples which we can copy directly into our website to act as a boilerplate. Um, let's just first, uh, we could try the basic example here, but the example we're gonna end up using here is this called modal gallery here. So this modal gallery allows you to basically visit a gallery here of, of different images. And so we're going to use this to create our, our grid gallery here where we could use CSS grid to create a little more, a little better looking grid than this. So let's, uh, let's use this, the basic example. If you're not familiar with React Router, I recommend trying this base example out. So we're going to paste that in here in our app.js. So previously we were exporting that app.js and now we're exporting this basic example here. Before we do this though, we actually need to install React Router. So we're going to say, look at the, uh, we're gonna say quick start here. And so just to let, uh, you know, so this is what you need to install here. If you look at the quick start of React Router, so you need to add in React Router DOM. So the way that we do that is yarn add React Router DOM. So we're gonna say yarn add React Router DOM. Okay, so now we save that. So now we are, we're gonna save this app.js and we're gonna open our local host here and see what happens. So. Now, just like that, we already have a working example off of the React Router website within our app. And so you can see we're going here, we're rendering the home page, the home, uh, the about route, the topics route, and going into the various uh, sub routes here. Now, how this works, uh, if you're not familiar with React Router, we'll just briefly explain this. So we have a basic example being exported, and the basic example is this right here. And this returns a router, so that declares the root router component and then we have a div inside which is just a container but then in here we have some roots and so what this is saying is when the path is equal to topics render this component else render this path else render this and so now when you're inside of one of these other paths you can then match a subroute so how topics renders the uh, matches this path here so if we go back to topic here if we're mat matching this path here in this in this topics page uh, we don't only have this root inside of the topics uh, component here. So if we're in this component, we're rendering this root, what that's gonna do is match this. And if so, render this component right here. And so where you put the roots is where the components get rendered. That's the rule. So if you go up here, this root, this is the home page. And above this here, this is always rendered. So you gotta remember, the root just returns that component in that spot. So we're always rendering this content here. And so that's a basic example of React Router. When we're on the root slash page, we're rendering the home, and this is just what home says. This is the only thing on the about page. And the topics page has a bunch of links to the other roots, which go to these rendering components. And when one of these is present, we render this component, a topic. And a topic is rendered right here, topic. And it renders just the parameter here. And the parameter that's passed in is this right here. So this colon parameter name is what specifies the parameter. And then over here, this is an exact match. This just says when we match this path exactly, we want to render this. So let's go ahead, now that we know how the source code works a little bit, let's go ahead and play with it again. We're on the home page. We just have home. We say about, we just have about. We go to topics. We say, please select a topic because we match this exactly. And then we select a topic and we render that various parameter here, params.topicID, which we pass in through the match parameter here, prop. So topics gets passed in the match property from React Router. So that's a basic example. Now we're gonna go into React Router and we're gonna go into the modal gallery example and we're just gonna copy this whole thing. So copy and paste that into your app.js, which should run. But first, before we show that, we're just gonna explain this example because it's pretty complicated. Don't worry if you don't fully understand this example. Let's explain this gallery example a little more. So you can see here we're importing a few more components from the React Router DOM library. You could see we're importing the main router, a new switch component, a root, and a link. So the main component that we're rendering here is called the modal switch. Now where we use this modal switch is down here. So we export a modal gallery, and then here we return the main router with one root, and we render this modal switch component. So the modal switch component is a regular React component, so it extends off react.component. 
And then in here, we're doing a few complicated things. So first, we're rendering a switch component. Now a switch is just going to be sort of like a switch statement in JavaScript. It's only gonna render one of these roots. So only one of these children can render at once when you use a switch component. You can also pass in the location you want to use for that component. So the reason we need to do that is because we're gonna be rendering two components at once. One of them is going to refer to the previous location when we click on an image. So the idea here is that we click on an image and we go down here to the gallery. So we're rendering another component called gallery. When we're on the gallery path right here, we render a gallery and in the gallery, we map over all of the images. So we declare the images array here. These are just objects representing configurations for what images we wanna display. Here they're just rendering colors, which represent squares, as you could see right here. And going down here to where the images are mapped, you could see we're declaring a link. And so a link is a React router convention to navigate to, to is the prop, a path, path name right here. And we're gonna render the image ID right here. So we're navigating to image slash the images ID right here. And then here, this is the trick, as they say right here, we're also going to set the state of that component to be modal true. Now, the reason we do that is because when we're up here, when we're in the modal, we want to do this path right here. And how we know we're in the modal is by checking the state. So we check the state of the location. So we get the props here. The location comes in from the props. We have set the state of that to be modal. So we've set the modal state on that location there. And we then declare that is modal Boolean here. So they're declaring that modal Boolean. Now, also, we're storing the previous location when it updates. So when we update this component, we're going to be remembering the previous location here. So this is a really complicated example, as you could see so far. I'm doing the best I can to explain this, but we're not gonna be modifying this too much. So if you wanna just skip ahead, you can, but I'll continue explaining this. So we have the previous location. Now, when we are in that state variable that says the modal, we're gonna be rendering the previous location, else render the location, the current location. So when we're rendering the previous location, which let's say we go from the gallery to an image, our previous location is still gonna be the gallery. So you could see here, we're still rendering that gallery behind the scenes. We're also rendering an image. Now the reason you wanna use a switch, the, the final reason we use the switch here to really nail this is because image is also the root here. And so we don't wanna also render the image view. So we only wanna match one of these, which is gallery, which is the previous location, okay? So to summarize this, we have a switch, which is only gonna render the gallery when we're in the previous location or whatever the previous location is. And then down here, we have is modal. So when we're in the modal, we're also gonna render that modal uh, component. Now let's go down to describe what the modal is. So you could see here we have a modal. Now this is gonna be an absolutely positioned div and we're gonna refactor this out to be a styled component. And inside of this absolute position div, we have another component, which we're calling the modal. And inside of here is that content. See, we have the title, we have the image, and then we have a button, which closes that. So on click, it says back, and back is just using the history API to go back. So that's the modal. The image view is when we load the image on that URL. So if we just load from that URL, we just get the image view, which is just the title and the image. And then I've already gone over the gallery and the home is just the home component here. So if you wanna render like a landing page or something else here, you could render that here in the home. So home renders, so home is gonna match that root uh, here. Gallery matches it here. Image view, when we just match that image view and we don't have the modal open, and then that's it. And so here's the modal. So I hope I explained this well. So this is the gallery example. This is on the React Router website, but I've provided the source code as well shortly after this. And that's, that's the gallery example. As we save it, we need to clear the root. And now we can see we have the image gallery. So we render a tomato, we go back, we visit the gallery, and we render our images here. Now this is a great 
template for our image gallery because this is all we need to display our image gallery. We just need a path to an image. We need to be able to close that modal, select another image, open, see that modal, go back to a main homepage if we want to add other content on here, like a landing page or something like that. And then we go here to our gallery and we could do this again. So this is basically the main functionality. Now also we're gonna be doing some responsiveness here. So if you could see, we do have uh, not really much content to render here, but we're gonna be testing the responsiveness of the app as we go.